Hey everybody, Clarkside here. How's it fucking collapsing? If you can tell me what TV show that quote is from, then I bloody love you. We're back here in Destiny to check out my latest addition to my Scout Rifle collection, The Collivance's Duty. I had this bad boy drop from the December Stroke January Iron Banner. You can check out my loot drop video for that by clicking on the annotation above. Anyway, what's so special about this rifle? Well, for starters, it's not your typical hung jury archetype, which people are gravitating towards. At the moment, the meta is in favour of high rate of fire, low to medium damage scout rifles, such as hung jury SR4, treads upon stars, and Mida multi-tool. What we have with the Colavance's duty is a low rate of fire, high damage archetype. Let's check out the stats right here. The impact varies between 61 and 62, depending on the perks you equip, and the rate of fire is set at 27. This puts it in the same camp as the Year 1 Iron Banner Scout Rifle, the Gellion's Demise. There's really not too much difference between the two. It also shares the same archetype as the Last Extremity, the rifle that's available from the Crucible Quartermaster. The Colavance's duty also excels in the range department with a base stat of 84 before any perks are applied. You have the opportunity to max this out to 100 if you get the right perks. The stability is below average with a stock stat of 29, but this can be increased to as much as 74. The reload is somewhat average at 52. In English, that means 2.59 seconds with rounds still in the mag, or 2.85 on empty. The magazine size comes with a stock size of 15 rounds. I would be cautious of what perks you pick up, because that can be reduced to as little as 12 rounds. With extended mag, you can max it out to 20. What kind of damage can this rifle put out in the Crucible? Body shots will do 49 damage, meaning 5 rounds and a 1.6 second time to kill. Headshots will land 73 damage, meaning 3 rounds and a 0.8 second time to kill. With the stock magazine size of 15, you'll probably get 2 kills per mag, 3 kills if you're a real hotshot. I lucked out with my role of third eye and crowd control, but the kind of perks you want to keep an eye out for are the ones that will extend your range or increase your stability. For sights, a lot of that comes down to personal preference, but my top picks are Red Dot ORES, Red Dot ORS1, and True Sight IS. Perks to look out for on the first spot are Triple Tap, Zen Moment, and Crowd Control. As happy as I am with Crowd Control on my rifle, I would trade it for Zen Moment any day. For the middle column, for PvP starting with the top spot, I would choose Explosive Rounds, High Calibre Rounds, Perfect Balance, or Field Scout. For PvP, I would look for Perfect Balance or Field Scout any day. For the middle spots, there's not a great deal of perks available that I would actually choose. They seem to either trade increased stability for reduced range or reduced magazine size. Two things I'm not willing to give up unless I really have to. For the bottom spot, look out for Custom Optics or Small Bore. On the third spot to the right here, there's only really one contender for PvP and that's Third Eye but I would settle for Outlaw or Hidden Hand at worst. If you're going for a PvE build, then Army of One or Grenadier are okay options if you've got top tier picks for the rest of your perks. Okay, so why is Third Eye so important for PvP? Well, with this being a low rate of fire, high damage rifle, it is suited to mid to long range. You're most likely going to spend most of your time scoped in. The last thing you want is someone getting into close quarters because this gun lacks the rate of fire to shut them down as they're advancing. With Third Eye, you can keep your scope up and do what this gun does best, pick guys off at range. Should someone pop up on the radar, then you've got plenty of opportunity to switch to a shotgun, fusion rifle or sidearm and be ready to take them on in close quarters. If you play the map to your advantage, then you can keep auto rifles, hand cannons and shotguns at bay. You're likely to lose out if they get into close range. Your real enemy is going to be pulse rifles or the aforementioned hung jury or mida type of scout rifles, which also play within mid range. I got my Collivance's duty as a random drop from a rank 5 Iron Banner package, but I expect at some point it will either be for sale at Lord Saladin, or will be in the loot table for end of match loot drops. With all the stats and recommended perks considered, how does this gun really perform? Well, I struggled to get a good gameplay for this review. 
I'm by no means a crucible beast or anything, but for previous videos I've managed to get a good gameplay, say like a KD of 2.0+, plus, within a couple of hours of gameplay. This, my friends, took me a while longer. The real limiting factor is what I mentioned previously, that you have to play at mid to long range. It doesn't allow for a lot of aggressive gameplay, and you have to play more conservatively. It is, however, a great rifle for harassing snipers. The longer I played with this rifle, I started to hang around at the back line of my team. If I saw the dead giveaway scope glint of an enemy sniper, I would take them out quite easily with the Colavance's duty, or at worst harass them into cover. At which point, that gives me and my teammates a chance to shuffle positions and get our own snipers out ready to counter. This is not a gun I would count on in solo crucible queues, but if you're playing in a fire team with some friends, then it can play a very important role in your team composition. Should this ever be on sale with Lord Saladin, then I will give you my opinion on whether you should pick this up based on the perks he's offering. So keep an eye out for my next Iron Banner stock and gear guide video. And that, my fellow Guardians, is a wrap. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new to my channel, then please make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest Destiny videos, and drop me a comment and a like if you found this video useful. Until the next time, this is Clarkside signing out.